Your marriage will start messing up. Your kids will, I don't know. I, don't, I can't even go through all things that go wrong with prayer. These are the things that were prayer. Amen. Number two, coming to church. That's right. Coming to church. And I'm not talking about coming on Sunday. I'm talking about come, if the church is open, be here. Amen. It, it, is it convenient? Not always. But if it was convenient, it wouldn't be worth having. So, no, pray. Come to church. I promise you. I promise you. You want to keep from backsliding? Come to church. People that backslide, you know, they'll be up front, second row, third. You heard it before, third row, fourth row, Mr. Sunday, Miss Two, Miss Three, and boom, they're gone. So, you know, you know pray. Come to church. These are the things that work. When you talk about no compromise, these are the things that got... The season saints through. Amen. 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 The season saints. These are the things that work for them. So how do we think that we're going to come along and change the program? Think that we know something that they don't know. Think that because we got more information now that we know more than them. We might know more than them, but God's not moving for us like he moved for them. Amen. 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 That's right. Huh? Amen. When's the last time God actually spoke to you? Not you had a good idea, but I, I mean, God actually spoke to you. God speaks. Yeah. And he desires to speak to us. I'm trying to hurry, but you know, these are things that we got to do. These are things that we know work. And we're not doing these things, but we want to do everything else. You're not praying, but you want to sing. Uh-oh. You don't come to church until it's your turn to do something. You don't come to church until it's your group that's up. No, praying, come to church, reading your Bible, reading your Bible. How many really, you know, really spend any significant time in your Bible? Don't raise your hands. But I'm talking about you actually sit down and you no know, turn your cell phone off. Not you, you up, up here doing this, texting and reading. Is God not worth? 15 Amen. minutes of your day? Amen. Can you not turn your cell phone off for, for 15 minutes? I promise if it's that important, they'll call you back. Amen. 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 So pray. Go to church. Read your Bible. And amen. There's one more that, that if there's one thing that I could take out of, out of being saved, that I would take it out. I'm, I'm just going to tell you the truth. And that's fast. If God gave me the option, you can take out, I ain't got no problem living right. I don't have no problem loving my wife. I can do all of these things. But God, if you let me take out one thing, take out this little, this whole fasting thing. If you can take that out, then I'll be okay. Now, that's me, but there's something about it. That's what works. There was a man that brought his son to Jesus. Now, Jesus' disciples, they were sitting up there working trying all that they could do to get this man's son delivered, to get him set free from what had him bound. And Jesus came and spoke a word, and the thing released the boy, and the boy was delivered. And he says, so, he said, this kind come out but by prayer and fasting. Yeah. And there's some, you know, the basics, we got to get back to the basics. Yeah. I'm sorry that I don't have more for you tonight. But you know what? If we don't get back to the basics, nothing else is going to work. You can build the baddest house on the block, and if you don't have a foundation in two or three months, it's going to show because everything's going to begin to sag and fall apart. That's how some of our lives are. We look real good. We got some of the baddest suits, some of the baddest shoes. We got the shouts. Uh, we got everything. But but if we watch you long enough, if we if you watch me long enough, you're going to see. If I got all that I say that I got, and a lot of us look good, but we're on the verge of backsliding. Uh -oh. Some of the people that you hear are preaching, they're preaching real good, but they're on the verge of backsliding. Some of us are on the verge of backsliding and don't even realize it. I'm sorry that I don't have more for you tonight, but you know, if you don't get the basics, if you don't get back to praying, if you don't get back to spending time in your word, how much time do we spend with our kids reading the Bible? God, help me. Yeah. Let me just tell you the truth. God, help me, and God, forgive me. But how much time do we, you know, and you wonder how you got to where you are. It's because your parents invested something in you, but we've gotten so busy now that we don't have time to invest in our children. We don't have time to invest in our relationship with God. 
Amen. Amen. But we find time for everything else. We find time to do anything else that we want to do. But when it comes to the things of God, that, that's, that's one of the first things that we neglect. Well, I got to work. Sometimes you don't have to work. Sometimes you're choosing to work. Now, if you got bills to pay, by all means, go to work. But I'm saying, you know, is that we have to stop neglecting our relationship. God, I'm going to ask that you rest on your feet. I'm done. You know, that's all that I have. If you're not happy, that's